Experts with Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority are getting closer to determining whether the only operating nuclear plant in the country can keep generating power. They've carried out a second inspection at the Oi plant to figure out if an active fault runs beneath the facility. The five-member team returned to Oi to inspect a trench. The NRA had ordered plant operator Kansai Electric to double the length of this trench after the first on-site inspection in November. Crews dug it to 100 meters. Representatives of the nuclear watchdog say they'll ask Kansai Electric to shut down the plant if inspectors conclude an active fault runs underneath it. Government guidelines ban the construction of key nuclear facilities on active faults. Kansai Electric executives insist landslips and not a fault cause the fissures below Oi. After Friday's inspection, the NRA's Kunihiko Shimazaki said it will take time for his team to come up with answers. We'll carefully analyze what we saw today. It won't be an easy task determining what it is. Shimazaki and his team of experts will be back at the plant on Saturday. Then they will meet early next year to produce an assessment based on the results of their inspection. NRA experts are checking the ground beneath a number of power plants in this earthquake-prone country. Their reports on some of them could keep the facilities offline for the future or forever. NRA teams say they found one active fault under the Tsuruga nuclear compound. The Urasoko fault runs alongside reactors 1 and 2. And another fracture intersects with it right under reactor 2. NRA teams say they found one active fault under the Tsuruga nuclear compound. The Urasoko fault runs alongside reactors 1 and 2. And another fracture intersects with it right under reactor 2. NRA investigators also released their final assessment of the Higashidori plant in northern Japan. They confirmed two faults running under the facility's compound are most likely active. NRA investigators also released their final assessment of the Higashidori plant in northern Japan. They confirmed two faults running under the facility's compound are most likely active. Japan's new Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has visited Fukushima Prefecture, site of last year's nuclear disaster. He told residents that his government will speed up efforts to rebuild affected areas by giving the reconstruction agency greater leeway. Abe first inspected the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The facility is in the process of being decommissioned. The Prime Minister met workers and expressed his appreciation for their hard work. Abe told them that their work is vital for Japan's economic recovery. Abe later spoke to people living in temporary housing in Kawauchi village, which was partially evacuated after the nuclear disaster. Abe inspected a metal processing plant that was set up after the disaster with the help of government subsidies. He told the plant workers that people will not return if there is nowhere to work. Kawauchi village had a population of about 3,000 before the nuclear accident, but only a quarter of the residents have returned home. Abe said he intends to give the reconstruction agency greater leeway so as to speed up both the decision-making process and the reconstruction work. He said the bureaucratic structure has kept government ministries and agencies from coordinating with each other in carrying out policies.
We bring good things to life. We let you live it again. We bring a song to your night. We help you to create. We keep you looking right. We bring you closer. Right, we 